and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a super fun, delicious recipe for you. All things air fryer. We are making crab cakes in the air fryer. WW friendly. Wait until you hear the points and calories. It's amazing. And these are incredible. Restaurant style incredible. So I can't wait to share these with you. I am going to make sure that I link the air fryer that I use down below because I love it. Also in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website where I can figure your macros, your calories, kind of walk you through group or one-on-one -on -one coaching. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website down in the description box. You'll also find again, my air fryer and the links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, as well as the link to join us over on my Facebook group, We'd love to have you. You'll also find my website where you'll find today's recipe so you can recreate it for your family. If you enjoy air fryer videos or recipe videos, give this one a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and that your bell is turned on. I'd love to have you on this community as well. So I'm so excited. Let's jump into today's air fryer recipe. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we are going to make crab cakes. I have been so excited for this. A lot of you have reached out and asked me when I was going to do this recipe, so tonight is the night. So let me show you what is in the crab cakes. I'll show you the air fryer that I'm using. I just got it not too long ago and I am loving it. So first let's talk about our ingredients for the crab cakes. You're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, mayonnaise, I'm just using this Primal Kitchen, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, eggs, fresh green onion, some Old Bay seasoning. Now, I don't know what you could substitute if you don't have Old Bay, but I, you can find this pretty much at every grocery store, so I would pick it up definitely for this recipe. And then also some pepper and some crab meat. So I have this master crab fresh claw meat. So this is actually legit. I'm excited for this. I picked this up from Imperfect Foods. I'll link that down below with $10 worth of free groceries for you. No minimum order and it helps prevent food waste. So I picked this up for $11.99, which is a killer deal for fresh crab meat. So this is what we're going to use for our protein. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and dice up these green onions, set these aside. We need about a quarter of a cup. So into a medium bowl, we're going to combine the quarter cup of green onions. I went ahead and cracked two eggs. Go ahead and add those. And then we are going to add the Old Bay seasoning. It calls for about one and a half teaspoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. This seasoning is really delicious and anything seafood, really anything, it's a really, really good seasoning. It says crab, shrimp, and chicken on the side. It's celery, salt, spices, including red pepper and black pepper and paprika. So again, really, really good. And then I have two tablespoons of my mayonnaise. To the mayonnaise mixture, we're going to add one half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to put in just a pinch of black pepper and then look how good this looks. So we are going to go ahead and add all of our crab meat and then we are going to stir to combine. Now you wanna make sure not to over stir. We wanna keep the pieces of crab as big as we can. That's what really gives this that authentic crab cake texture. So here is our crab cake mixture. Doesn't that look incredible? We are going to pop some saran wrap on this and throw it in the refrigerator for about an hour. So definitely plan ahead when you're making this meal to give yourself about an hour for the crab meat mixture to set. So here is my air fryer. I have the Omo air fryer. I absolutely love it. It's the oven style. So you put racks in there. You can put up to three racks. You can cook a ton in this air fryer so i love it if you have a large family it also comes with the rotisserie chicken wheel i love it i love having the oven style available and the drawer style so i'm going to go ahead and turn this on to 350 for about five minutes i just want to get it warmed up before we make our 
crab cake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it started, get it nice and warmed up, and then let's put together the crab cakes. So these are the racks that come with the air fryer. It comes with three racks. I went ahead and laid down some parchment paper just to avoid a mess on my counter. I'm going to be using my large scoop. I picked up this three pack scoop from Amazon, so I'll link it down below for you. I just pulled the crab cake mixture out of the oven, and I am just going to scoop them onto the air fryer sheet here. And then I'm just gonna take the back of the scoop and kind of press them down. And I'm going to repeat until I've used all of the crab mixture. All right, and here they are. These look so good. It ended up making eight of them or seven and three quarters. So I am going to go ahead and get these into the air fryer. It should be just about warmed up. All right, so let's get these in here. Again, I really like having the oven style. So I'm going to put it about the second shelf down and then the second tray will put about a shelf or two down from that. And then what I like to do is just rotate them during the cooking process. I just wanna make sure both of them get cooked evenly and become nice and crispy. So we're gonna go ahead and shut that and keep it at 350, but we're gonna bump it up to 10 minutes. And then we'll, again, keep our eye on it. And about partway through, I will go ahead and rotate them so they get nice and crispy on all sides. With our crab cakes, I'm going to just cook up some of this Bird's Eye California blend. I have the Pampered Chef little microwavable steamer. So I'm just going to add some in, add some water, and we'll throw it in the microwave. All right, so here's our veggies and some water. We'll put these in in about five minutes or so and I just want to show you guys how quiet this air fryer is it's amazing my other one was so loud so I absolutely love this air fryer um, again I'll link it down below for you guys so we have about five or six minutes left about three minutes from now I'll go ahead and rotate the shelves Ooh, these are looking good so what I'm going to do is just basically rotate the shelves. I'm going to put the ones that were on the top. Look how brown and crispy those are getting all ready. And I'm just going to rotate them with the bottom shelf. That way they get a chance to get a little more brown and crispy as well. Look at these. I just pulled this tray out. The other one is in there on the very top for just a couple more minutes. These look so delicious. They're nice and crispy. I'm going to go ahead and plate these up with some veggies and I'll be back to show you dinner give you points you're not gonna believe how low point these crab cakes are all right here is dinner so I have two of the crab cakes of course some of the birds I veggies to the crab cakes I'm just going to drizzle over a little bit of lemon juice the recipe suggests that because seafood is always really good with like a little bit of lemon and now let's go over points and calories so the recipe makes four servings so basically it's two crab cakes per serving and it is only two points on both blue and purple and three points on the green plan just because you have to count a point for the crab that's it you guys two crab cakes two to three smart points calories are here on the screen and i'm going to enjoy my dinner all right thank you so much for joining me on today's air fryer recipe i hope you are as excited as i am about this recipe i'm telling you it is so good it is better than the restaurant way less calories and can you even believe those smart points so make sure you're checking out that description box again for my website for this recipe nutrition coaching links and discount codes to my favorite things as well as today's air fryer and my facebook group also if you love this video it means a lot to me if you'll give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and shows me that you like these recipe videos and lastly if you're not already subscribe join my community i would love to have you so again i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you next time bye